My name is Rachel Bias from Fired Out Design's Pottery Studio and Training School. Today I'm going to show you how to use Kemp tools, which are real good fun for all ages. You can use them um, with any product, it can be firing or non firing. Today I'm using uh, my own colour to clay, which is a very solid, opaque colour. Um, we're going to just base coat, so I'm using a goat brush because they base coat really nice and smooth. So I'm just loading up with a little bit of watery paint, slightly watery. And I'm just going to quickly do one coat of the clay colour. Uh, that's probably quite solid and enough. Okay, and then I'll just do just a little bit round the edges to so that what you see is all yellow. Okay, and then that's pretty much dry to start to decorate. And then I'm going to use the colours. Now most of the colours, uh, they, they don't split in firing. Um, what you've got here is some ideas of patterns that you can do. And when you dip the tool in, if you're going straight down and come out slightly sideways, you get like a solid, um, it fills the tool. It does with most most of the colours, it just fills the tools. But if you go straight up, sometimes it pops. So if you want it to be solid, just slide it like a pebble. And then if you want it to be symmetrical, the best thing to do is think of a clock. So we'll go six o'clock, 12 o'clock, three o'clock, Nine o'clock, and then all in between, or what you think in between. I think probably one more. Whoops, it popped. Um, one more in between those four is enough. Probably should have put it on a little whirly wheel, so I don't have to touch it. There we go. Um, and then. There's, all, there's lots of different designs. You can see here, there's, there's two sets, set 24, set 13. And they've got about nine tools in, I think. Uh, yeah, nine tools. And it's memory wire. It's pretty tough, pretty pretty bouncy and flexible. So if you're on a round surface, you would slightly rock it so that you touch all the surfaces. And here are some little bits I've made earlier. Uh, this is where I've drawn around a little wooden heart and then just filled it in. And here I've made this letter uh, with a wooden template out of clay and then coloured it uh, uh, with the colours. And this one here is the same. This one's got a crackle glaze on it, so it's a little bit different. And the little spots around the side, I actually used the wooden end just like that, and into the colour. Right, so this is um, drying, but we can go on to another colour. So if we maybe do the orange, so this is a little little spirally tool, so you can just do that in between. You can see it's quite quick. And they make great, this is just a little coaster, but it looks, it looks nice on mugs. Oops, missed a bit. The kids, the kids uh, really, really enjoy using them as well. So let's just go back on that one. Oops, slightly slid. Might wipe that off after. So then, when I want to wash the tools, what I do is I just bounce them up and down on a little hydro sponge. So I tend to work out the lids of these with the mini screw top pots. Um, so we'll do something in the middle. What can we do? That's another favourite one. This little, little one here makes lovely hearts. So we'll have little blue hearts. So slide it through the colour. And then get them in the middle. And then if I just pull pull the tool down a little bit, get me a little point. There you go. So there's a little coaster. Nice and easy to do. Um, then we could have some uh, little spots. I was just going to look for a stylus. But there we go. My little camera person there had a stylus handy. So little stylus and then you could do just some little spots to finish it off here around the edges which on this tiny stylus will take forever. 
see when I use these for the highlighting eyes. So you can see this is a nice easy way to use some tools. And also it doesn't have to be the whole thing, it doesn't have to be a Kemper. If you look at this, uh, my uh, my paintbrush pot, I've used a little spiral in the, in the middle of the flowers there. So anyway, if you'd like to have a go with these, um, you can have a look at the uh, supply list at the end of the video. And please like and subscribe and uh, hopefully tune in again. Bye.